we will offer the Mass for the Blessed Virgin in your missalettes. If you turn to page M, like Margaret 8, M8, this Mass is offered for the repose of the Thurian family members who are deceased. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women. Blessed is the fruit of your womb. The name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God, to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have great sin in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary of the Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray for God, who chose the Blessed Virgin Mary, foremost among the poor and humble, to be the Mother of the Savior. Grant, we pray, that following her example, we may offer you the homage of sincere faith, and place in you all our hope of salvation through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever. He gave gifts to his people. When it says he ascended, what does it mean but that he had also descended into the power, into the lower parts of the earth? He who descended is the same one who ascended far above all the heavens, so that he might fill all things. The gifts he gave were that some would be apostles, some prophets, some evangelists, some pastors and teachers, to equip the saints for the work of ministry, for building up the body of Christ, until all of us come to the unity of the faith of all of the knowledge of the Son of God, to maturity, to the measure of the full stature of Christ. We must no longer be children tossed to and fro, and blown about by every wind of doctrine, by people's trickery, by their craftiness and deceitful scheming. But speaking the truth in love, we must grow up in every way into him who is the head, into Christ, from whom the whole body joined and knit together by every ligament with which it is equipped, as each part is working properly, promotes the body's growth in building itself up in love. The word of the Lord. Thanks. Let us go rejoicing to the house of the Lord. Yes. Let us go rejoicing to the house of the Lord. I was glad when they said to me, Let us go to the house of the Lord. Our feet are standing within your gates, O Jerusalem. Yes. Let us go rejoicing to the house of the Lord. Jerusalem, built as a city that is bound firmly together. To it the tribes go up, the tribes of the Lord. Let us go rejoice in the house of the Lord. As was decreed for Israel to give thanks to the name of the Lord, for there the thrones for judgment were set up, the thrones of the house of David. Let us go rejoice in the house of the Lord.
Lord, and forbid. When Jesus was teaching the crowd, some of those present told him about the Galileans whose blood Pilate had mingled with their sacrifices. Jesus asked him, Do you think that because these Galileans suffered in this way, they were worse sinners than all other Galileans? No, I tell you. But unless you repent, you will all perish as they did. Or those eighteen who were killed in the Tower of Siloam fell on them, do you think that they were worse offenders than all the others living in Jerusalem? No, I tell you. But unless you repent, you will all perish, just as they did. Then Jesus told this parable. A man had a fig tree planted in his vineyard. He came looking for fruit on it and found none. So he said to the gardener, See here for three years, I have come looking for fruit on this fig tree. Still, I find none. Cut it down. Why should it be wasting the soil? The gardener replied, Sir, let it alone for one more year, until I dig around it and put manure on it. If it bears fruit next year, well and good. But if not, you can cut it down. The Gospel of the Lord. This gospel is about repentance, and it's one of the mysterious gospels. It's a gospel we have to really struggle with to try to figure out. Our Lord referring to two tragedies. One of them was political, one of them was just a, a mere accident. Um, Pilate, as we know, was very brutal in history. We know that he was a very brutal uh, procurator. And in one occasion in Samaria, people had come to worship at that sanctuary, Mount Gerizim, and he had all the participants slaughtered. We don't know why. Also, this episode, we only hear about it in St. Luke, but it is typical of what we know about Pilate, that he was a very brutal, very violent uh, Roman procurator. And also, the tower was a tower in the wall of Jerusalem that fell on 18 people and crushed them. So our Lord says, these disasters, do not mean that the people who suffered were worse than anyone else. We've had that lesson already in the, in the book of Job. We learn in the book of Job already in the Old Testament from the wisdom literature that the good man can suffer just as much as the bad man. Jesus says the Father in heaven sends his rain and sunshine to fall upon good and bad alike. But our Lord says that there is some kind of lesson here in these episodes which has to do with repentance. He says that mysterious line, unless you repent, you will suffer as they did. So he's speaking to a group of people who need repentance. He's speaking to a crowd that need to change their hearts. So our Lord is saying here that a sudden death by political means or by an accident, uh, does not give us time to repent. So fortunately for us in this life, we have time to repent, to acknowledge our wrongdoing, and asking for pardon here and now, before we face the Lord Himself in our own individual judgment. And so this is a, a call to us to conversion, really, this any call of the Lord to repentance is about uh, converting our heart. And this is a commentary from Don Schwager. Allowing sin and sinful attitudes to go unchecked in us is like a cancer which spreads and corrupts us from within, causes death, if it is not cut off. We must honestly and humbly acknowledge our sins before God and ask for His forgiveness and for His healing grace to restore and change us, so that we may grow day by day into the holiness He desires for us. 
holding on to sinful attitudes, refusing to confess our wrongdoings before God, to receive His pardon and healing can only lead to one result, a corrupt heart, mind and soul, that is spiritually dead. St. Paul the Apostle writes that the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. A line from Romans 6. Spiritual death and separation from God is a far worse condition than any physical harm or loss we might experience in this present life. So we invited by this gospel to choose for God, to choose the abundant life and grace He has won for us through His victory on the cross. The gospel ends with this very interesting and kind of double-edged parable of the fig tree. The fig tree, of course, a very special image of fruitfulness uh, in the Old Testament, and it is a parable of our patience, the patience of God toward us. God is giving more time so that the fruit can be allowed to grow, but it is only just the one more year that it has. So its days, we could say, are numbered if it does not bear fruit. The manure represents the call to humility in the soul. So the manure represents the dirt of the earth, the call to be humble, which is our path to conversion in this life. We ask the Lord to give us a converted heart for the desire to be yearning always that He change, help us change into the children of God He wants us to be. We come before the Lord with our prayers and our needs. Father in heaven, look upon us and hear the prayers we offer. We pray for the whole church that we may be a church of repentance and conversion and especially for those who have wandered away from the active practice of faith, that they may come back to the Lord in their hearts. We pray to the Lord. We pray for confessors who bring the mercy of God to those who need it most, to struggling souls, that God may bless their works for the church. We pray to the Lord. For the sick and the suffering, we pray for all victims, especially of cancer. Uh, we pray for Brenda Fougere. Uh, we pray for Davina Brundle, for Margarita Fodola, for all Pasquale Parquenta, all those suffering from cancer and ser serious illnesses. For their healing, we pray to the Lord. We pray for God's blessings on our Paris School of Assumption and our CCD, especially as we return to classes this coming week for this new year of CCD. We pray to the Lord. In a moment of silence, we bring before God our own special petitions for today. We pray to the Lord. Lord God, Father in heaven, look upon us and hear the prayers we all are offered today. Grant each fact that we have prayed for in faith and trust through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and the work of human hands, will become for us a bread of life. Amen. 
Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. For through your goodness, we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, will become our spiritual drink. Great brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Receive, O Lord, the offerings of our devotion, grant that we who celebrate your Son's work of boundless charity may through the example of Blessed Virgin Mary be confirmed in love of you and of our neighbor, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Amen. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Amen. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, to praise, bless, and glorify your name in veneration of the blessed ever-Virgin Mary, for by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit, she conceived your only begotten Son, and without losing the glory of virginity, brought forth into the world the eternal life of Jesus Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore, and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim, Worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of us, have never He took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more gave thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray for partaking in the body and blood of Christ. We may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Michael our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember your servant, deceased family members of the Tedian family, whom you have called from this world to yourself, grant that they, who were united with your son in a death like his. May also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in the mercy. 
welcome them into the light of your face and mercy on us all. We pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the Blessed Joseph, his spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you, throughout the ages we may merit to be heirs to eternal life, we praise and glorify you, to your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Savior's command informed by divine teaching we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy name be come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope of the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your Church. Graciously grant your peace and unity. In accordance with your will, we live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you all. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world, blessed are those called, to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter into my room, and only say the word, my soul shall be. The act of spiritual communion for those who are praying by a live stream. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things. I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Father of Christ. Father of Christ. Glorious things are spoken of you, O Virgin Mary, for he who is mighty has done great things for you. Let us pray. Grant your church, O Lord, that strengthened by the power of the sacrament, she may eagerly walk in the pathways of the gospel until she reaches the blessed vision of peace, which the Virgin Mary, your lowly handmaid, already enjoys eternally in glory through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in God. We are safe guard against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke you.
ਕਰਕੇ ਪਈ ਹਾਂ 